We are back live. Second hour coming up after Mercola. Hey, Coke says aspartame's good for you. <laughs> so I thought we'd actually go over all the real studies. Hey, if you want to weigh 800 pounds, I guess, and uh, you know have, have diabetes, sure, and go blind. I mean, yeah, sure. What well, alcohol does wonders for you. Yeah, it breaks down into that at 87 degrees, and our body's 98.9. And then, yeah, 98.6. You know, people vary. 98.7. Uh, boy, I tell you, ladies and gentlemen, I'm also going to get into the whole rodeo clown situation. This is all about, you know, we, we can abort half the black people in this country and have a eugenics operation and, uh, you know, take everybody's basic liberties and freedoms, but we're going to get you obsessed over a rodeo clown and have the NAACP calling for criminal investigations. So I did a video uh, yesterday live on the air, but we have the clip of it up on Infowars.com. Alex Jones received Obama clown sensitivity training. That's satire, but it ties into the real article by Kurt Nemo. NAACP attacks rodeo stunt and political satire. Yeah, it attacks free speech is what it's doing. Uh, Drudge Report really has all the news on this over on their left-hand side, all of it together. Uh, it's pretty amazing. But you notice this is Missouri, and a bunch of other states have these truth squads that are these tattletale squads, and they tell them now, this is five years ago, I'm about to play the clip, that if you hear anybody criticize the president, call the police. And I know a lot of people have the Secret Service visit them for just saying they hate Obama. And again, Obama's the front man of the bad agenda. But, but still, folks, you have a right to criticize the president. Uh, you were born with that right. It's, it's patriotic to, to love your country, but to fear and dislike your government. And so I thought I'd play a short clip of the Missouri Truth Squads. And, and by the way, more newscasts came out. They would actually go to people's houses and threaten to arrest them if they said he was uh, a Muslim or wasn't born here. Well, even if that's true or not true. The point is, you have a right to say, you know, Barack Obama is an Easter bunny or the, uh, Barack Obama, you know, something that's true. His dad was a famous communist pornographer from Hawaii. So they created the whole fake Kenya thing and said he was born there in all his own literature. So we thought, well, well you say you were born in Kenya and all your Harvard literature and, and all your book deals. But then now you say you aren't and your wife's on video saying you were born there. But now you say you never said that and we're crazy. Oh, it's a bait and switch. You're really the son of a famous communist pornographer and your mother's in the pornography publicly so we're looking at the president's mother all bent over it's like but again that's all part of just breaking america down just what will we put up with it's it's, it's all you know like wiener up there uh, you know uh and, and the whole rise of that that uh, that big debacle that's finally now shrinking thank goodness uh let's go ahead and go to this clip to remind you that this is where this comes from the naacp calling for the secret service the bull they said was going to charge our our precious uh, one that's ripping everybody off and scamming everyone as a front man L let's go to this clip here it is
I just, I think the media would have a field day with it. But uh, let's just say this, history, our civilization, everything you see, my friends, uh, a lot of it's not as you've been told. A lot of it is not as it seems. And uh, I'll just leave it at that. We're gonna come back and get into the establishment striking back. A record uh, plunge in the sales of things containing aspartame. So their answer to that is to spike the entire food chain with it. Now you can watch The Alex Jones Show live as it happens at Infowars.com slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. More than 60 movies and documentaries all in one place at Infowars.com slash show. I mean, this whole rodeo clown thing, I'm going to get to more after he leaves us. Missouri has something called Truth Squads. We probably need to get a whole article out on this because even though this is five and a half year old news, uh, this is what was involved here. The tattletales went uh, and called the press and then, and then now the Secret Service is involved because a man dressed like a clown, uh, a rodeo clown, was taunting the bull and then the announcer was saying, will that bull get him? Folks, anybody who's been to a rodeo knows that's what you do. They, they say, oh, the bull's trying to get him, and they jump in the barrel, and then the bull runs into it, and you jump out of the barrel, and the rodeo clowns are there to protect the bull riders when they fall off so they don't get stomped and killed, and then it's become its own ex exhibition of daredevil itself, kind of like running with the bulls or something in Spain. And undoubtedly, people don't like Obama trying to take their guns and deindustrializing the country and trying to federalize the farmers. Of course, rural areas don't like Obama, but it's more because of his policies. I guarantee you, we had a black president that was constitutional. Uh, he would be worshipped at a mainly white rodeo. I, I guarantee it. Uh, but the whole point is, is that they want to invoke racial division in divide and conquer, just like Oprah Winfrey went in and said, I want to see the $35,000 purse in the locked case that was a display. And the woman said, no, you've got to wait. She was a part-time Italian employee, didn't even really speak English. She said, you got to wait till the manager gets here. And I mean, I'll assure you folks that most of those type of places, they don't just let anybody, I don't care if you're black or white, uh, come in and look at the $35,000 purse. Plus, it just shows the insane decadence of Oprah Winfrey wanting a $35,000 purse. And it, what do you want to bet she's got hundreds of purses, hundreds of purses in her closets. And this is a woman who lobbies for Obamacare, lobbies for higher taxes on the middle class, and then she's a globalist that meets with Bill Gates to talk about population reduction, mainly in the black community. She's been put in her media position to create racial division, and Oprah Winfrey is disgusting. Absolutely. Hey, Oprah, why don't you do a story on 51% of blacks being aborted uh, when the uh, other groups aren't even in the double digits? And how it targets blacks to get rid of them by the liberal so-called uh, establishment, the eugenicists. Why don't you talk about Obama doubling money for basically forced abortions in Africa? Oh, no, no. Killing black babies is not an issue with you or, or UN forced vaccine.